I also read that metabolic diseases can lead to cancer. Well, you, you know that sugar is the, the main feeder of cancer, but the metabolic diseases uh, environment allows cancer to grow. And this I didn't know. Yeah. So that no, means there's been, yeah, yeah the, there's been, I, I'm not, you know, an expert in this area, but number one, it's common knowledge that obesity leads to increase uh, cancer rates. That's interesting. Can- Added cancer, esophageal cancer, ovarian cancer, that's common. But the new information, as you've just alluded to, is that high blood sugar feeds cancers. Cancers have, uh, you know, a very high metabolic rate and their preferred form of energy is, is sugar. So there, in fact, I, I, it's interesting you brought this up. I actually reviewed an article just in the last week regarding uh, patients with a type of brain cancer called glioblastoma. And the study was a certain group of those patients were put on a ketogenic diet and another group were the control group without any controlled diet. And the rate of growth of the malignancy and the patients on the ketogenic diet was vastly reduced. Their progression of their disease was vastly reduced in comparison uh, to those on a normal diet. So, So absolutely, this high blood sugar thing touches many, many areas of our health.